until you see the new tower Clockwork Mouse is building. It's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Um, is this cool? No. What's happened? It didn't look like this yesterday. Ooh. Put that door on the roof! No! On the window! No! Um... What's wrong with Clockwork Mouse? Oh, Noddy. Clockwork Mouse isn't making any sense today. She needs a rest. She never lets anyone else help. Huh? Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Do oh, what now? Don't worry, Carlton. We can help. Thank you, Noddy. I like huh? your funny hat. <laughs> can I ring the bell? Clockwork Mouse, would you mind if I examine you? Tall Bobby. Oh, naughty. <laughs> What's that? It's all sticky. <laughs> uh, it looks like sticky putty. That's why Clockwork Mouse is being so strange. Oh. I need to investigate. Who put sticky putty on Clockwork Mouse's key? Yes, good question. Time to open a new case. Investigate! Who? What? what? When? when? Where? Where? Why? Why? How? How? Let's investigate now! Let's call this the case of the sticky putty. <laughs> What's the plan, Noddy? First, I really need to find out how the putty got there. Uh. Clockwork Mouse? <gasps> Hello? <gasps> Did anything strange happen today with your key? Strange? No, my key is checked and polished every morning just like clockwork. Clockwork! <laughs> oh, pardon me. Oh, dear. Whoever put the putty there must be someone very close to you. Carlton, he spends lots of time with you. Carlton? Carlton would never do anything like that. He's such a kind dog. I mean, cat. <laughs> yes, you're right. Who else works with you? <laughs> the builders. Well done, Bumpy. Ugh, this putty is getting harder and harder. I don't think I can get it off. Let's go and see Fuse. He can mend everything. Mend, 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 mend. Good idea, Biggies. I'll see you later. Hope you feel better soon, Clockwork Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, you didn't see any builders near Clockwork Mouse with putty? No one at all. We don't use putty on the site. Our bricks don't need it, see? Use putty then. Putty fixes things together, and Fuse fixes toys. Maybe he uses it. Come on. I'm afraid Clockwork Mouse is going to be very difficult to fix. Difficulty level eight out of ten. It's very exciting. Super challenge. Happy face. you something. Oh. You use putty, don't you? Correct. Putty is very handy. A good workshop always has plenty of putty. Uh, so do you know how the putty got on Clockwork Mouse? Negative. I repair toys. I do not break them. Right. You haven't got very much putty. I thought a good workshop always had plenty of putty. Yes, Noddy. You're right. Memory recall. I gave Smarty Saurus some this morning. Smarty Saurus? What was she going to do with it? Unknown reason. She asked for some really good putty. 
I've got to go and see her. Bye, Fuse. Goodbye, Noddy. Clockwork Mouse will be safe with me. how strong putty is when it dries out. Did you test it on Clockwork Mouse? She's got it stuck all around her key. Oh, no! Poor Clockwork Mouse! I'd never experiment on other toys. Oh. I'm trying to find out who did, but I'm not getting anywhere. Oh. <laughs> Mmm, <laughs> Big Ears always says, when you don't know how to go forward, go back and look at what you already know. Where else can we find some putty? The only other place that has putty is the brick build building shop. But they didn't have any this morning. That's why I went to borrow some from Fuse. The brick build building shop, of course! Yeah! Ouch! I need to find out who else took Sticky Putty from the shop. Let's go, Bumpy. Welcome to the uh, uh, br brick -a build building shop. Yeah. Uh, how can I help you? We stock bricks, uh, blocks, uh, and uh, everything for your building needs. Can you tell me who last took some sticky putty, please? Uh, oh, it's on the tip of my. Uh, on the. That is to say, I. Uh, oh, I can't remember. Sorry. Oh. Do you think you might have written it down somewhere? Oh, yes, in my register. Yeah. Oh. I can't remember where I put it. Oh, thanks. Uh, there it is. <laughs> I ask everyone who takes anything to sign in here, just in case I, um, uh, what's the word? Uh, forget, yes. Can I have a look? Oh, yes. Mmm. That paw print belongs to a cat. A really big cat. Who is the biggest cat we know? Carlton! <gasps> but Clockwork Mouse was sure it couldn't be Carlton. There's only one way to find out. Bye! Um, uh, what's the word? Tower's back to normal again. <laughs> Clockwork Mouse. Oh, hello, Noddy. Look, whoa! I'm as good as new and all wound up and ready to go. Ta-da! Oh, Clockwork Mouse, you're fixed. I'm so happy to see you. Carlton, do you know how the sticky putty got onto Clockwork Mouse's key? Yes, it was me. Oh. I put it on. Whistle my whiskers. When? I didn't notice a thing. W when I polished your key this morning. But why, Carlton? Well, you're always busy running around and you never stop. <laughs> I only wanted you to slow down a bit and have a rest. Oh, you didn't realise the putty would get so hard. That's right. I'm so very sorry. You were trying to help me. Oh, Carlton. <gasps> I do work very hard. I don't ever seem to have time to get it all finished. I know. What if you both work together? Then you can get everything finished quicker and you'll have more time to do other things. Like resting 
I'm playing. That's an excellent idea, Noddy. Come along, Carlton. Let's finish that tower together. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, off we go. Yay! <laughs> well done, Noddy. How did you work it out? First, I looked all over Toyland to find out who had sticky putty. When I saw Carlton's paw print in the putty register, I knew he might have damaged Clockwork Mouse's key. He was just trying to help. Yay! Yay! The case of the sticky putty is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! See? Nothing there. <laughs> Hello, Noddy. We've visitors from Fable Forest. <laughs> Don't worry. It's Biggies and the night. Reporting a mystery to Noddy. Whilst on sentry duty at the castle, I saw a dazzled dragon. A what? I've never heard of a dazzled dragon before. <laughs> there are no dragons in Toyland. Certainly no <laughs> dazzling ones. Oh, well, I saw it in the forest. It had big eyes and golden scales. Mm. Who else saw it? Not us, sir. We were on patrol. A dragon is very serious, sir. We need to find it before it scares everyone in Fable Forest. You're right, and I'll help you. I need to investigate. How can I find this dazzle dragon? Time to open a new case. Investigate! Now. Let's call this the case of the Dazzle Dragon. Oh, what's your plan, Noddy? I'll go to where the dragon was last seen. Come on, Bambi, to Fable Forest. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our Fort Noddy Sun. One, two, one. We're heading off on our nightly patrol. You're welcome to join us. We go with strong shields. Fiery torches. And really big flags. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, but I'm going to search for the dragon. I'll stay here with the sentry. Very well, sir. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Sentry, you're sure this is where you were when you saw the Dazzle Dragon? Correct, sir. Hmm. Nothing there. Huh? <gasps> What's that? Oh, that's it! The Dazzle Dragon! Wow! It does look like a dragon. I'm going after it. <laughs> Worry, Bumpy. I'll look after you. Come on. Look, 
It's got so many feet. It must be like a huge centipede. <sighs> what a mess. It looks like the dragon bashed into the signpost. But where did it go next? <coughs> yes, I can hear it too. It's heading for the naughty corn stables. Let's go! <coughs> I don't know. Mm. <gasps> Cloppy corn, you look. But go on. Go on. Come this way, I have to find it. It was here, Noddy. Oh, the noise. It was super scary. Well, I wasn't scared. In fact, I think I scared it away. You see, nothing scares me. <coughs> oh, my. Don't do that. <laughs> where did it go? Down there. Then that's where I'm going. Is that okay, Bumpy? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, Noddy, please don't leave us. Yeah, what if it comes back? You'll need my help to scare it. Why don't you all come with me? Let's go. Hang on, wait for me. Help me. You are. Big ears, when did you get here? Just now. I had to know if this dragon was real. <laughs> oh, it's definitely real. I saw it. Oh, so when can I see it? Hmm, I don't know. I thought it was coming here. Nothing here, sir! <laughs> <laughs> Knight, did you see the dragon on your patrol? Not even a whisper, sir. But oh, it was so loud. Look. This was the route it took through the forest. You must have seen something. <gasps> but that's our route through the forest. It must have been right behind us. All right in front of us. Huh? This is your route through the forest. Hmm. Wait a minute. You had shields and torches and flags. Hmm. Oh! Knights, please can you do one more patrol just around the castle? Oh, what are you thinking? Knights on patrol! Knights on patrol! patrol. What do they look like? Oh. Mm. Like. Like dragon eyes. Oh. oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> and the torches and flags are like wings and a long, scaly tail. 
There isn't a dragon at all. It was the knights on patrol. They didn't mean to, but they made the shape of a dragon. Of course! <laughs> they are the dragon. That's right. Oh. Oh. I knew there was nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> oh dear, no dragon. I'm sorry on behalf of all of us. Salute to Noddy! <laughs> Good news. The toys of Fable Forest don't have to be scared about dragons anymore. <laughs> well done, Noddy. <laughs> Thanks, Biggies. I thought the dragon had lots of feet, but it was the knights marching, and the loud dragon noise was the knights clattering their armour. The case of the dazzled dragon is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! We wanted to say a proper thank you for finding our paintbrushes! Yay! <laughs> huh? Oh! Wow! We've got to rush and run. We've got loads and loads to do. See you later! <laughs> Bye! Bye, Pat Pat! So lovely and well-deserved for Toyland's super detective. Oh, I wish I was like Noddy. He's so smart. <laughs> Noddy, Noddy, Noddy. <laughs> Hello, Noddy. Oh, we need your help. Strange stickers have appeared all over Toyland. Stickers? Of what? When? Just this morning, the stickers all show a picture of a bandit. <laughs> What's a bandit? Oh, it's someone who takes things that aren't theirs. It's very serious. We don't know what the bandit might do. Oh, no. I'd better investigate right away. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why do you always ask him? I can solve this case. Easy peasy lemon, um... Uh... Squeezy. Yeah, thanks. I knew that. Come on, then, Hoof. Let's investigate. Who is the sticker bandit? Time to open a new case. Investigate. Who? What? what? When? when? Where? Where? Why? Why? How? How? Let's investigate now. Let's call this the case of the sticker mystery. What are you going to do first, Noddy? Hoof? Hmm. 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 Clockwork Mouse, where can I find one of these stickers? There are lots on Main Street in Brickabuild. Come on, Revs, Bumby, let's go. Hoof, are you coming? Huh? Yeah, I'm right behind you. Hey! One. Yeah! Hooray! <laughs> ah. Ah. Uh, it's okay, Noddy. I think we can manage this investigation alone from now on, thanks. Yeah. Why don't you go and find your own sticker, eh? Oh, okay. Come on, Bumpy. There are loads of stickers. <laughs> it's almost like the bandit wants everyone to know that he's here. Hmm. I don't know why, Revs. Wouldn't a bandit want to keep hidden? Hmm. Hmm. Oh. <gasps> Have you worked it out yet, Hoof? Have you? Yes. Maybe. No. <gasps> Take this. Oh. We'll take the picture and see if we can find anyone who looks like it, see? Whoa! You are clever. Shush. I want to hear what Noddy's saying. Bumpy, look at this. This looks a bit like the trees at the Dino Lab. Uh-huh. Cool. Ha, that's our first clue. Come on, see you, Noddy. Bye. 
It's OK, Bumpy. Biggie's always says the good detective doesn't rush. Ooh, Hoof is so clever. He's a great detective, don't you think so? Well, I... um... Oh, can I borrow your sticker, Cloppycorn? Of course, but be careful. Thanks. Glitter? Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Why would the bandit use glitter? I wonder if Hoof noticed. <gasps> Have you worked it out yet, Hoof? Uh, yeah, of course. Easy peasy, remember? <laughs> Noddy, you took your time. I've already closed this case. The sticker bandit is... Uh, uh-huh. Smartysaurus! Really? Uh-huh. Let's go and talk to her. Oh. <laughs> She's not here. Really? I mean, <laughs> of course. I'm not surprised. She's a bandit. Oh, look at this. It's got writing on it. What does it say? I am the best bandit in the world. Beware. See? That proves it, then. Smartysaurus is the bandit. I win! Case closed. But this one says it's the bandit. Help! Huh? Why would Smartysaurus write this if she's the bandit? Maybe she isn't the bandit. Maybe she saw him and ran off. Hey, maybe she isn't the bandit. Maybe she saw him and ran off. Huh? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Biggies always says a good detective takes time and looks at all the clues. Like, how did these bits of paper get here? And why would a bandit write down what to say? Look at this one. I'm going to steal the farm animals and there's nothing you can do. <gasps> the farm animals? Oh, no! What are we going to do? Obviously, we're going to the farm, aren't we? The bandit's going to take all the animals, but we'll be there to stop him. You are so smart. Yeah. Cloppycorn, go and get Clockwork Mouse. I want her to see who the best detective in Toyland really is. <laughs> Yay! Hooray! What do we know so far, Bumpy? The bandit has put up stickers everywhere and likes glitter and needs notes to remember things. And Smarty Saurus is linked to the bandit in some way. Hmm. Oh, Bumpy, look at this. It's just like the drawing on my card from Pat Pat. I think we need to talk to her. I'm delighted to tell you that I've solved the case. It was clear to me from the beginning. All we've got to do is hide and wait. The bandit will be here very soon to try and take the animals, but Super Detective Hoof will step in and stop him. Are you quite sure, Hoof? Oh, yes. And then I will reveal his identity to you all. You! Oh, yeah, and I'm the best... <laughs> Noddy! Hi, Pat Pat. Hi, Smarty Taurus. I'm on an investigation. Do you know anything about a sticker bandit? I'm trying to find out who it is. Well, of course we do. And we really need your help. Any minute... Now! Uh, oh. This is a big yawn. Shh, bling. Someone's coming. You mean I've done it? Uh, 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 of course I've done it. Yeah. Uh, on the count of three. One, two... Oh, no! My sticker! <laughs> oh. It's OK. I've got it. <gasps> got you! Hello. Who? Oh, Noddy! You? And the bandit? <laughs> I can't believe it! <laughs> oh! oh. oh. <laughs> well, hello, everyone! <laughs> I... Uh, I... Uh, uh, what is the meaning of this? Don't be cross, Clockwork Mouse. It's simple. 
There is no sticky bandit. Not a real one, anyway. That's right. The bandit's me. I'm putting on a play for everyone. I'm calling it the Toyland Bandit. And I'm in it, too. I'm playing the detective who catches the bandit. As long as I can remember my lines, that is. <laughs> but what about the stickers everywhere? The pockets put them up. Yay! But they forgot to add the banner telling everyone it was a play. And what time it started. Sorry! I knew you were worried about the sticker bandit clockwork mouse. So once I solved the investigation... We came to see you and invite you to come and watch. And Noddy's going to help us with it. You know, I don't want to be amazed, but I am totally amazed. Noddy is the best detective. OK, OK, you're the best. But I still don't get why Smartysaurus wasn't at her dino lab or what those pieces of paper were. I'll explain on the way to the treehouse. We've got a play to watch. Shh. Shh. Shush now, everyone. It's about to start. Shh. Ha-ha! I am the best bandit in the world. Beware. Beware, beware! And I'm the best, um... Detective in the world. Detective in the world! <laughs> I'm so relieved there was no real toy bandit. <laughs> How did you manage to solve the investigation, Noddy? When I saw the cowboy smiley face on the note and the glitter, I knew Pat Pat must know something. The stickers were to tell everyone about the Toyland Bandit play. The case of the sticker mystery is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! It is a sunny spring day in Toyland. And Noddy is ready for another happy morning of driving merrily about in his car. Sorry for the sudden stop, car, but I forgot to check on my garden. It's important. My flowers are growing beautifully, aren't they? <laughs> Good morning, Bumpy Dog. I was just checking on my garden. Look, I'm growing ten flowers for Tessie Bear. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten flowers for Teddy Bear. And when they're finished growing, I'm going to give them to her. Do you think she will like them, Bumpy Dog? Good, because I can't wait until she sees them. Flowers are beautiful, Dinah doll. Yes, I've just got them in. Would you like to buy them, Tessie Bear? I'd love to, but I don't have any money right now. Maybe later. Oh, so you like flowers, do you, Tessie? Like them? I love them, Noddy. Why do you ask? Oh, no reason. Right, Bumpy Dog? <coughs> well, enjoy the flowers. Maybe someone will bring some free flowers. I'll see you later. I have a little secret, a secret we should keep So when you talk to Tessie Bear you mustn't make a peep It's lovely to imagine the sparkle in her eyes Please keep my little secret, it will be a big surprise My, these flowers certainly are growing nicely. Tessie Bear will love them. I'll count them again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's funny. I don't see number ten. Hmm, I must have counted wrong. I'll start again from this end. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh dear, one of my flowers seems to be missing. Oh, I know. It's probably too dark to count right. I'll try again in the morning. Good night, car. Good night, flowers. flowers. I'm sure I'll be able to count all ten of you better this morning. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight? Where are nine and ten? Nine and ten? Nine and ten? Where did you go? Oh well, at least I still have eight beautiful flowers to give Tessie Bear. <coughs> uh, uh. Hi, Bumpy Dog. I'm glad you're here. I've got to go into town today. Will you stay here and watch my flowers? I can't understand it. They've just disappeared. Maybe the flowers went for a walk and couldn't find their way home. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of flowers, look at these beauties. Where did you get those? From a friend. Why do you ask? Oh, no reason. Excuse me. I have to leave now. Someone is giving Tessie flowers that look just like mine. Now she won't think my flowers are special. Oh no! More are gone! One, two, three, four, five, six! Where is Bumpy Dog? He was supposed to be on guard. I'm going to have to find out where all my flowers are going. I'll sit up all night and watch them. I will, I will, I will! Thank goodness my bell woke me. I've got to stay awake, so I don't lose any more of you. <sighs> There's still six of you left. So maybe Tessie will still. Dog. I've just had the funniest dream. I thought my flowers flew away. Oh my! Maybe it wasn't a dream. I need to get some help. I can't understand where my flowers could have gone. Maybe the flowers are still there, but the goblins painted them with invisible paint. Or maybe you moved them and forgot. Or maybe you just can't count. I can count, Martha Monkey. Huh. Prove it. How many fingers? Seven. Three. Um, I mean four. Eight. See, I was right. <laughs> Don't laugh, Martha. Noddy is very upset. Perhaps there is a flower thief in Toyland. Yes, it sounds like the case of the disappearing flowers. Tell me everything. I want to jot this all down. First I counted the flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But that night I counted the flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then the next day I counted again. One, two, three, four. That's enough. One, two, three, fouring. Show me the flowers. Oh no! Now there's only one. Where did this string come from? I set a trap before I left. It's a nice try, Noddy, but only a foolish person would fall into this simple trap. <laughs> Yes, you're probably right. 
I'll get some scissors to cut it down. I caught the thief! <laughs> Actually, Noddy, it's not such a bad trap after all. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you work out who the thief is yet? No, I give up. Oh, Noddy, you must feel terrible about losing your flowers. Actually, the only reason I grew them was so that I could give ten of them to you, Tessie Bear. For me? Oh, Noddy, how sweet! Someone must have had the same idea, because they've given me night flowers. I know. Who gave them to you? <coughs> Stop it, Bumpy Dog. I'm talking to Tessie Bear. Be nice, Noddy. Bumpy is always nice to me. He's the one who's been bringing me all these lovely... Flowers. Then Bumpy Dog is the flower thief. No, Mr Plod. Bumpy Dog is not a thief. He's more of a delivery boy. He delivered all ten flowers to Tassie Bear for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're all there. Thanks, Bumpy Dog. And thank you, Noddy. It has been a long day in Toyland, and Noddy is making his last delivery. Hello there, Noddy. Hi, Big Ears. Wow, Car. We really delivered a lot of things today, didn't we? And this is the last one. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Muscle Monkey, don't push my head. Don't, don't, don't! But it's so funny! See? <laughs> <laughs> No, it isn't. You're such a pest. <laughs> I know something that will be really funny. Ah, my new flashlight. Gosh, sometimes that Martha monkey can be a real monster. What's that, Noddy? A monster? You know, when I was a boy, I was the champion monster stories teller three years in a row. Uh, really? Turn off the lights and I'll tell you my best story. A m -m monster st story? <laughs> <laughs> what a great joke this will be. This rope will keep Noddy here and make his wheel spin. <laughs> and then the King of the Dark Wood became so angry that he invented a potion that turned him into a horrible <gasps> monster who looked like this. <laughs> Then he followed the little elf home and leapt out at her. Boo! Ah! Noddy, that silly story didn't scare you, did it? Who, me? Not a bit. 
Monsters are just, just in your imagination. Oh well, time to go home. There's nothing to be scared of. I hope. I'm not afraid. I never hide. I'm strong inside. I'm not afraid. If I look afraid, that's just an act. Cause it's a fact. I'm not afraid. <laughs> Gosh, what was that? The monster wants to jump out at me and shout boo! This is going to be my best trick ever! <laughs> Awful sound. <gasps> Somebody stole my lamp post. Hear that car? The monster is chasing us. And he's invisible. I better not stop, car, or the monster will get us. Ready for the big sale tomorrow. Well, oh, who could that be at this hour? Oh. Keep away from me, monster! Oh, oh no! <laughs> what monster? Oh! Coming through! My feet are tired, Gobbo. Do we have to walk all the way home? Huh? Maybe not, Slime. That sounds like Noddy. We'll trick him into giving us a free ride home. <laughs> hey, stop, Noddy! We need a ride! Can't stop! The monster is after me! <laughs> 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 Sleep on this nice, comfy pavement tonight. He's not invisible anymore. Who can I go to for help? Mr. Plod, he probably knows exactly what to do about monsters. There must be some clues here. Hmm. Sounds like trouble in the streets of Toy Town. Halt! In the name of Plod! <laughs> What's all this about, Noddy? There's this monster who chased me, and and first it was an invisible, and then it wasn't, and and then he knocked over the oil cans. So so I looked for you, and then he kicked my car. Is this your monster, Noddy? It was just an old lamp post. But how did it chase me? Looks like someone played a joke on you, Noddy. 
I'm sorry, Mr. Plod. It was just a joke. I didn't mean anything. Martha Monkey, you should know better. Yes, look at the trouble you've caused. And there wouldn't be so much damage if you hadn't let your imagination run away with you. There's no such thing as scary monsters, Noddy. I'm sorry. Since this was all my fault, I'd better clean up this mess. Wait for me, Martha. It was my fault too. I'll help. Really? Thanks. Another job.